little girls are always sensitive and their dreams change with time. Uh, yeah. Find your own passion. When I was a child, I wanted to be an archaeologist, an engineer. I dreamed of being a police officer. I wanted to become a novelist, a great scientist. I'm Lu Jing. I am a paleontologist, but I am also play accordion. I like the vertebrates. They are very interesting. At the university, Professor Zhu Ming gave me a book. After reading this book, I fall in love with ancient fish. I'm Gao Jing. I'm a climatologist. Many professors at university talk about the environmental change of the Tibetan Plateau. I just thought we should do something. I learned about some European scientists monitoring atmospheric water vapor step ice tops in Antarctic and uh, Greenland. So I think if they could do such things, we also could try. I'm Ma Guanghui. My research field is biochemical engineering. During my early career, I was very interested in biomedicine because it can save human lives. One day, on the scanning electron microscope, I found that I successfully prepared nanoparticles with a very uniform size and the uniform particles self-assembled into a beautiful pattern. Since then, I became interested in my research. And it's me, Mona. I am Mona. Wajiao Mona from Egypt. I am a chemist. When I was a child, that was at a time when the society around me pursued that a woman's role should only be involved in her house. One day, I got the opportunity to travel to China. I start dreaming again. I'm Xu Xiyan. I'm a climate scientist. I became interested in my current career since I was junior in college. I read the third assessment report of climate change. So from the report, I realized that we humans are the major contributions to the recent decades climate change. But there are still so many uncertainties unaddressed for understanding the climate change. I was really fascinated by these uncertainties. I have a lot of tough times. One of the hardest moments for me was right after I gave birth to my baby. My mother becoming chronically ill. I need to be with her constantly to take care of her. We need to have more physical power and patience to do both research work and housework well. I was asked several times on different occasions, how can you balance your work and your family? I just want to know, is there anyone asking male scientists how to balance these things? When we successfully used these microspheres in biosepression and drug delivery, now the microspheres used in protein and vaccine purification utilizing our patents are available on global markets. It's the decision making to implement proper management that will protect public health. We got very valuable data and no one has done that before. I find this totally new thing and I have the responsibility to study it clearly and share it to the world. That's how we make the science progress. My dream kept me going when facing the tough time. Science has inspired billions of people and changed lives around the world. It's amazing to be one part of it.
curiosity and passion for science can make us strong enough to address any problems. As long as you love your work enough, you will find a way to persist instead of quitting. Science is not easy. There's always ups and downs along the way. I'm very happy with my career. I believe we shouldn't sit any minutes in our exploration. In your life, nothing is happier than having a dream and working passionately to realize that dream. Never give up your choice just because someone told you that you can't achieve it. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Don't be afraid when you encounter failures and frustration. Everyone who has made it, they have already gone through their own set of struggles. Life is too short, make it worth living. And then you can overcome difficulty and get closer to realizing your dreams gradually. So I believe women can do anything and make a difference. 